Hey guys, it's Star the Flippin' Hippo. Thank you for joining us on our YouTube channel. Today I am here to give you guys a little introduction to a new series I will be starting on the channel. It will be its own playlist. It's going to be called Hungry Hippo. Let me preface this with saying first I know this series is not going to be for everybody and that's okay because I feel like there's going to be a lot of you that will enjoy this and can take something away from it. Hungry Hippo is going to be a cooking series. The series will focus on the way that I cook and I have always cooked in a way that is simple easy prep, simple easy cleanup after the meal is done. Uh, it's budget friendly, it doesn't take long, and it makes a lot of food. I know that most of us as resellers work really hard all day long and we all have that mindset that time is money. So spending less time in the kitchen is beneficial to us. I know that we all like to save money, and I know that we all like to save time. So in the series, Hungry Hippo, I will be sharing recipes with you from my own kitchen. About 75 to 80% of the meals I make are made in the crock pot. They're simple dump recipes. You just dump everything in and you walk away, and they make a huge amount of food. You can freeze it for later, you can have leftovers, you can pack it for lunch if you still work outside of the house, and that all feeds into uh, saving money. And the meals I don't make in the crock pot are usually still really simple, they don't take a lot of prep, and they make a ton of food. I am all about less effort, quick meals, quick cleanup when we're done, and I like to maybe cook one or two days a week and have enough food for the whole week. And the other reason I wanted to start this series is because when I was in Vegas, I talked to a lot of resellers and I talked to a lot of people who aren't resellers, but are the other half of a reseller. And the common consensus I got from talking to people was they wish they knew more crock pot recipes or more one pot recipes. And the other thing I heard a lot was People don't enjoy cooking because they feel like it's too hard, there's too many ingredients, they don't have all these spices in their kitchen, it's too fancy. And I want to dispel that belief because I, when I learned how to cook from my grandmother and my mother, I was always taught that no recipe is ever set in stone. You can always omit something, add something, change something, substitute something to make it fit the taste buds of you and your family. So I was taught how to take recipes and make them my own for myself and the people that I was cooking for. And you can omit anything. You can substitute anything. You can add things. Recipes are not set in stone and you do not have to follow them. As far as substituting, I'm going to put down in the description box below on this video and every video in the series a really handy website that I use. It's called the Cook's Thesaurus. You can look up anything in the Cook's Thesaurus. Th th anything in the cook's thesaurus and find a substitute for it. For instance, if the recipe calls for a medium-sized onion chopped finely and you don't have onions in the house, you can look up onion on the thesaurus and it will tell you the equivalent of onion powder or minced onion to that size of an onion and you can just substitute it. You can look up anything. Um, sometimes it gives you similar spices, sometimes it's different. It tells you how to substitute spices for fresh and fresh for spices. It is an invaluable tool in the kitchen so I'm going to link it below. It will be on every recipe down below. I am going to say that every time I show you guys a recipe I will be reiterating this is not set in stone. This is how I make it for my family. If it's too spicy for you guys, take out the chili powder or the crushed red peppers that I add. If you like more spice or you like things hotter, add more. Um, you can omit and take out and add to almost any recipe. I will say that Keith and I um, do not follow any type of diet. We're not vegetarians, we're not vegans, we don't do keto. But most of the food I'll show you can easily be made to be keto, vegetarian, or vegan. You can substitute ground turkey for ground beef. You can substitute crumbled tofu. You can just take it out all together and have a vegetable version of whatever I make. And if you're doing keto, you can substitute cauliflower for potatoes. And I know you guys have neat ways of making tortillas and stuff out of cheese. And you can do lettuce wraps. So that's going to be the focus of the series. Quick, easy, 
fast meals that feed you and your whole family with very little preparation and very little cleanup at the end and it will make a lot of food that you can have leftovers in the same week you can freeze it for next week or you can pack lunches for everybody with it and I hope that um, most of you will enjoy the series and get something out of it I know again like I said time is money and if you want to have a really nice meal you still don't want to spend two to three hours in the kitchen total time cooking eating cleaning because if you could spend maybe an hour, that's two hours more that you could have quality time with your family or be listing or sourcing. Also, the meals I make are budget friendly. Every penny counts, right? So I hope you will enjoy Hungry Hippos. The series will start tomorrow. I will show you my version of Shepherd's Pie. And then on Sunday, don't forget to join us back on this channel at 8 p.m. Eastern Time for my live show. We will be back on a reselling topic. We will be talking about Poshmark and how to become a posh boss. And I have a very, very special guest that will be joining us. So I hope to see you there. And hopefully you'll like the new cooking series. And if it's not for you, you don't have to watch it. But hopefully you can get something out of it. You guys, do me a favor, smash that like button down below. If you haven't already and you'd like to, please subscribe to our channel and help us feed a hungry hippo. You can find us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. We are at Flippin' Hippos. Until next time, you guys have a good night.